today's video. Today we're going to be discussing some of the dirtiest reptiles and some of the cleanest ones. I feel like this is one of the main reasons that people think that they don't want to keep reptiles. They think that they're just really dirty and generally speaking, reptiles are probably like one of the cleanest types of pets you could possibly have. They don't eat as often, which means they don't poop as often. Um, and they don't have fur and dander and just stinky things that a lot of mammals do. Like for instance, if you're keeping a ton of like hamsters or rats or even dogs and cats, like they got some funk to them that reptiles just naturally do not have. So generally speaking, they're all pretty clean. However, there are some species that are a little bit more dirty than others. So we're gonna jump right into it and discuss these. So one of the dirtiest reptiles, in my opinion, are bearded dragons. And bearded dragons are one of the dirtiest basically because one, they, they have the stinkiest, dirtiest poop of like any other reptile and all beardy owners know it like they are just their poop is just really special it deserves its own scale and level of just gross but like it's it's really bad so that is mainly why and the other issue is they'll leave like a big pile of it and a lot of them are known to just like run through it and make a mess in their enclosure which just sounds like an absolute nightmare luckily i have never experienced that with any of my bearded dragons but i have seen other people who have um, another thing that they do is they eat a lot of salads and if they don't want to eat all of their salad they end up walking through that and you get bits and pieces of like crusty lettuce and things throughout the enclosure and calcium dust so bearded dragon enclosures are notoriously known for getting pretty dirty pretty quickly and you always have to be spot cleaning them especially with that stinky poop so they are definitely probably the dirtiest in my opinion of like all of the reptiles um but yeah i'm sure there are some that are nice and polite and clean but beardies typically are pretty dirty among reptiles. And moving on to one of the cleanest is leopard geckos. Leopard geckos are, I swear, they're like cats. It's as if they have a litter box. They all poop in the same spot. They will pick like a corner of the enclosure for poop. And it just stays really nice and clean because the rest of the enclosure doesn't have poop. So it's something that I appreciate as a reptile keeper when an animal just is clean about their poop and they put it in one designated area that you can just clean up and then they're just eating bugs and stuff so they're not really making a mess whatsoever so I think that they are pretty clean for reptiles. And dirty again, the next dirty species we're going to talk about are tortoises. People think that tortoises are just I mean, they're cute. You, you wouldn't suspect that they'd be up for much damage, but tortoises are extremely destructive in their enclosures. If you're putting like plants in there, a lot of the times they're just going to eat them or stomp through them. You guys, if you're familiar with my channel and peaches, her water bowl on a daily basis is super dirty because she goes through it immediately and gets dirt inside of it. So it's just always dirty. Um, and then again with salads, the thing is, she's a good eater. They, they love their food, so they'll typically eat their food and not trail it through the enclosure like a bearded dragon would. But they're just typically really messy and they're like little bombs of destruction that you would never suspect. So tortoises can indeed be pretty messy. Clean species is very similar to leopard geckos and it is African fat-tail geckos. These geckos are also very polite, kind of like a cat species. And again, they also pick a designated spot to poop. So it makes cleaning so much easier and their care is also just so easy as well. So they both go in the same category. They're both just pretty clean geckos. And back to dirty, speaking of geckos, but dirty crested and gargoyle geckos. These guys can be pretty dirty because you feed them a Pangea mix, which is basically, it's a fruit mix and it is the consistency of ketchup. And the issue is when your gecko steps in it and then continues to go through the enclosure and leave the food marks everywhere. If you have glass doors, a lot of the time you will see it on the glass doors from geckos stepping in it and then going and climbing everywhere else and getting their sticky ketchupy food throughout the enclosure. So that can be pretty messy and difficult to clean up. 
Um, another thing, it depends on the gecko, but I have one in particular named Chip who just poops on the front doors always and you just see poop skid marks going down the front door and it is the worst sight ever. But those are some of the reasons that can make them a little bit messy. A clean species, in my opinion, I think ball pythons are pretty clean. Um, all snakes in general seem pretty clean. Um, they do not really pick one exact spot. It does depend on the snake. Some of them may just pick one spot to poop, but again, these snakes don't eat that often, so they're not going to be pooping that often. It's not going to be like a daily thing where they're going to be pooping whatsoever. So it's just less poop and then their poop is just not very messy. It's very easy to spot clean. So in my opinion, I think that ball pythons are just pretty clean. And then moving on to a dirtier snake, in my opinion, I think corn snakes are dirty. They are just, they're also very destructive in their enclosures. They're super active snakes and they will get into everything that you possibly can imagine in the setup. They're also escape artists because of this. So they can also be very, very messy. And they also, they have a weird poop. Their poop is just weird compared to any other species of snake. And I just feel like the poop just looks messy and it's just, it's also messy to clean up compared to the other ones that are easy to spot clean. Corn snake poop is just like a different consistency and like more dusty when you pick it up and it's just kind of messy. So yeah, corn snakes, I, if I had to pick a dirty snake, I would definitely say it's a corn snake. And then a clean species, um, I would have to say chameleons are pretty clean. They don't leave messes with food. They are really good. I mean, they're mainly eating insects because they're insectivores and they use their tongue, they eat their food. They're not leaving anything behind. And when they do go to the bathroom, it typically just falls straight to the ground and is super easy to clean up. So typically I think that they are just a clean species of a reptile and very easy to maintain. And probably the dirtiest reptile of all time would have to be aquatic turtles. Aquatic turtles are just on a whole other level because you are dealing with a complete tank full of water and they are so messy. I don't even feed my turtle in her tank because if I do those specks, like every time they take a bite, there's gonna be specks of food that just float into the water. And if you're doing that frequently, your tank is going to get super dirty. So I typically recommend if you have aquatic turtles to get like a little feeding tank and feed them separately in that. And even you'll see after they're finished eating, like that water is so gross because they're so messy about eating. And then I just dump that down the toilet and put them back in the regular tank. Um, again, they're also gonna be pooping. So poop and algae and things like that are gonna be happening and cleaning a turtle tank is a lot of work and they are just pretty messy. They are not clean species whatsoever and it makes them super challenging and not for everyone, but they're definitely the dirtiest reptile of all. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you agree with what I've said or not? I'd love to hear some of your experiences with this as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.